What's up, guys? Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And throughout the years, we've had plenty of memes within the community. Nerf Kunai, buff money shot, cloud kill, OP, which now it is. But if you were to spec into cloud kill back at launch, it was nothing more than just laughing game. And you killed Wilhelm? No way! <laughs> Reverencing how the Vault Hunters and Angel make Wilhelm out to be this big badass who easily beat the Vault Hunter in New Haven years earlier and is an adversary worthy to fear. And then you get to Wilhelm and he dies without much of a fight. With the Vault Hunters admiring how much stronger the new Vault Hunters are, and that... <laughs> and considering that we've gone back and played as Wilhelm in the pre-sequel and saw how strong Wilhelm actually is, it's kind of a disservice to Wilhelm that he's such a pushover in Borderlands 2, dying to just a few shots to the dick. Seriously, I'm not even joking about that. His dick is one of his crit spots. Succumbing to the same illness as Wainwright Jacobs' family member. Warden tripped in the factory and died. Or... Well, the doctor had to invent a new name for his injury. Called it fatal testicular devastation or some such thing. An innovator till the end, my grandpappy was. <laughs> However, if you look through the audio files of Borderlands 2, you'll come across this handsome Jack voice line that was cut from the game. At the point where he reveals that the secret is that Angel is working for Jack. So, Wilhelm nearly killed your Vault Hunter friends a couple of years ago, and you just blow him away like any other grunt? Yeah, that's because I poisoned him before you guys fought. Worth it, though, to make you think I didn't want you to have that power core. But, uh, psst. Spoilers. I did. We find out that the actual secret Jack was keeping from us was that he poisoned Wilhelm during his last cybernetic prosthesis augmentation. Something that even Janie Springs warns Wilhelm of at the start of the pre-sequel. Oh, and Wilhelm? I noticed some rust virus seeping into the skin around your eye implant. You might want to watch it with the cybernetics. Sure, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> it seems like Jack was keeping Wilhelm sick from the very beginning or at least not telling him about the rust virus starting to take hold from all his enhancements. Preventing Wilhelm from becoming stronger than him and kind of giving Jack an ace in the hole with Wilhelm needing Jack and the Hyperion Corporation from preventing his rust virus poisoning from taking further hold. Even going as far as sacrificing Wilhelm and his power core just to gain access to Sanctuary. And that would have given a million times more context into just how far Jack is willing to go to achieve his goals. Sacrificing one of his most powerful generals in the process. And would have also made Wilhelm less of a joke and more of a martyr in the Borderlands franchise. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you really thumb up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Did you know that Jack intentionally kept Wilhelm sick? If not, does it make a ton more sense now why the Volt Hunters and Angel were so scared of Wilhelm? Why he's so strong in the pre-sequel, 
but a two second pushover in Borderlands 2. If you did know this, did you know that Janie warned Wilhelm prior to making it to Concordia that he was already showing signs of being poisoned by a rust virus, but he just kind of brushes it off casually? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. My name's Jay, more than Afterkill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.